All right, let's see. What do we got here? My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, gang. <laughs> it's your boy Burf, and I'm at Big Texas Thrift. Don't you just love saying it like that? Big Texas Thrift. Sounds powerful. So hopefully we have a powerful vintage toy hunt today. Where's my keys at? Where the hell are my keys? I know I couldn't have got here without them. Oh, I bet they're in this little container here. Yep, <laughs> I found them. <laughs> All right, but anyway, hopefully we have a powerful toy hunt today, vintage toy hunt. What we're gonna do, just to make sure things go according to plan, is we're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna pray, 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 pray to the vintage thrift store gods, that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And we walk out of here and maybe some other places with lots of vintage goodies. Let's see what they got. Oh, what do we got here? We got ourselves a Hulk, Ragnarok Hulk, right? And uh, is this the, okay, so I had a subscriber a couple of days ago tell me that I missed a She-Ra Swiftwind horse on the shelves at Goodwill. I went back to check, it wasn't there, but it kind of reminds me of this one. It was like pink with pink hair. I'll put this in the cart just in case. It could be, it might not be, but we'll find out later. Oh, we got Thor and Iron Man. Looks like we got a space shuttle down here. That's cool. Which one is that? Oh, it's Discovery. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, we got an airplane, like a World War II. Oh yeah, that's a Mustang P-51. It's got a broken propeller though. And we got a guard tower for Dino Valley. We got Zerg. Okay, so I don't think this is She-Ra, Princess of Power horse, because all the ones I saw of She-Ra, the horse's mouth was open. So that might be like a Barbie horse. We're gonna leave her on the shelf. All right, guys, let's get the rummage in these bags. There's a lot of empty spaces on the wall, so I don't know what we're gonna find, but let's give it a shot. Hey, look, it's some turtle muffs. <laughs> Oh, I got this little Sonic figure in here. Wow, guys, I just, I literally went through this whole section and there's like nothing. It's just all junk. What's this down here? Yeah, nothing. What is that? It's like an, like an otter and I don't know, some sort of dinosaur or lizard that blows bubbles, it looks like. And a fish that does the same. Oh, here's some rock'em sock'em robots. And we got some play sets over here. We got Wayne Manor, the Gotham City Jail, the Hotel Gotham. What's back here? I don't know what's, what that is. <laughs> Something Gotham, probably. Speaking of rock'em sock'em robots, here's the actual game. So it got the robots in it? Oh, it looks like it does. You know, I don't actually own this. This is from 2019, it's not a vintage one. It's still kind of cool, right? Well, I just opened this up and pulled all these out and it looks like all the pieces are there, but I only want $3 for it. I think I might pass on it. It's kind of cool though. Still, just really don't have anybody that would play with I me. Mean, the girls probably wouldn't find this that exciting. <laughs> Oh, here's the uh, Labyrinth game. I think I picked this up a while back, but mine isn't sealed. This thing's only five bucks, but it's selling for like $25 sealed plus like $14 shipping. Hmm. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Pick of Billy Conway. Yeah, it must be like a, I think I remember him. Isn't he like a comedian or something like that? Let's see, mobsters. Oh, it's got Christian Slater, Patrick Dempsey, Richard Greco. Richard Greco. All right, all right, let's grab this. Let's see what else we caught in the act. Oh, is that Princess Diana? Oh, 
Sounds spicy. Let's see, Turner and Hooch. That's a gross movie because that dog slobbers everywhere. Got Gene Hackman, Company Business. I like Gene Hackman. All right, let's grab that too. I'm gonna get us some VHS today. Golf goofs. <laughs> Secrets of the physics. Oh, this is cops. Too hot for TV. All right, we gotta get this. Oh, we got undercover cop. Who's in this? I'll let Danny Trejo. Hmm. I don't know. It could be good. Let's get it. What is this? This is action. The most incredible nonstop action film of all time. Starring Robert Culp. All right, that's a, that's a big claim to fame. We gotta get that. Real stories of the Highway Patrol drug bust. That looks like the Terminator guy. <laughs> Doesn't it? And we got Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry. I think I have that already though. Volcanoes. Armed Response, David Carradine and Lee Van Cleef. That looks interesting. Let's grab that too. Look guys, we can learn to dance in minutes. We can learn all the Latin dances. All right, so we got a pretty awesome VHS haul. All the VHS I showed you pretty much are the ones I got. In addition to, I also picked up the mummy. So let's head off to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? All right, let's see what they got for us today. Oh, wow, well, look at that cool yeah. sax playing Santa. What is this thing? Is this some sort of a... Uh... Was that like a drone? Yeah, I think it's a drone. All right, oh, look, look at this thing. Look at this mask. That's cool. It's kind of like a Skeletor mask. Oh, look at this big old sword too. Dang, that thing's pretty awesome. All right, so it turns out this is a vintage fairy door. It's weighted, it's like really heavy. But uh, not many of them have sold, actually none of them have sold in the last 90 days and I only see like one listed. So I don't know. Look at this big guy. Dang. Now that guy just put this in here. This is one of those uh, how to train your dragon dragons. All right, well, we just got busted. Off the thrift giant on their shelves here we go here we go here we go again another thrift giant adventure my friends now they had like this big store-wide 50 percent off sale yesterday so i'm not expecting a whole lot but who knows maybe they brought the good stuff out already so we'll check this out and then we'll probably go hit up saint vinnie de paul because on tuesdays I've been scoring vintage toys on Tuesdays at St. Vinny's. So maybe that's like their vintage toy day. Nah, I don't think they actually have like a vintage toy day, but it's just been coincidence. But there's also like, I think the store is like 40% off on Tuesdays as well. So, all right, let's see what they got in here. Oh, look, they got this Ghostbusters car, but it is missing a lot of pieces. Yeah, this is from 2020. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't vintage. Look at this thermos. This looks old. Grand vacuum bottle. How much they want for that? Five bucks. Hmm. I might get it at that price. That's. It's got. It's made out of tin on the bottom. You know. Oh yeah. Look down in there keep all your soup down in there your hot soup all right i'm gonna grab this this thing's pretty cool uh, we got a tigger and a roux over here an electronic one what we got here tricera ops fortnite all right we got the thermos i saw that it recently sold for 20 bucks we got it for five dollars it's made by the american thermos products company 
How cool is that? I love the plaid design and especially the bright yellow and red on it. I really dig that. All right, guys, let's go hit up St. Vinnie de Paul next. All right, we are at St. Vincent de Paul. Last time we were here, we scored some vintage TMNT, which by the way, one of my subscribers, Frank Stein, he was like, hey, you accidentally put two clips in there of you finding that TMNT vehicle. I thought your videos were more real. So I just wanna, for those of you that saw that, I just wanna explain sometimes like when I find something, if I'm like, oh, I want this to be the intro of my video so that when people press play, they see and they're like, oh my gosh, like, what is that? That's exciting. That looks exciting, whatever. I wanna keep watching. I will refilm me finding it just for the intro. So my videos are all, all are real. I mean, you guys have seen me like screw up plenty of times. It's not like I'm faking stuff, but I will refilm things that I find that I think are cool that would make for a good intro video just to give it a little more oomph, a little more kick, a little more spice. So, all right, let's see what they got in here. All right, well, let's see. What do we got on these shows today? Stegosaurus. I saw this at Thrift Giant the other day and they wanted $6.99 for it. Here you can get it for $2.49. Oh, this looks like it was uh, some sort of transformer, maybe like an egg or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a dinosaur, but he's like missing this part right here. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Speaking of dinosaurs, we got a whole bunch of them down here. Look, he's only a dollar thirty-nine. Dollar got a haul let's jump in the car and do some show and tell all right first up i got this uh picked this up even though it was incomplete uh i'm not exactly sure what it is but when i was doing a little research there were these things that i didn't even know existed called uh masters of the universe dinosaurs i think is what they were called they were like little eggs that like transformed into dinosaurs or something like that which I don't think that's what this is because I looked to see if this T-Rex was in that line of toys and did, I did not notice it, but it doesn't mean that it's not, but I thought it was pretty cool. I got it for 69 cents. 69, dude. In fact, get this, the entire total came to 420, man. <laughs> got any weed? So yeah, so 420 and 69. I thought that was funny. But I got this. I also got the Jurassic World Stegosaurus with his battle action tail. And uh, he was $2.49. I couldn't pass him up at that price. Didn't necessarily need him, but I think I am going to try and flip him and get a few bucks out of him. So possibly at my yard sale. I mean, I only paid $2.49. I could probably put a sticker on him for 5 bucks at the yard sale and actually be able to sell them so i got him i also got for a dollar 39 this triceratops he does need a battery but he does actually make noise when his batteries are charged up so i'm gonna have to stick a new battery in there possibly well actually i probably won't because i am gonna sell him and i don't want to increase my let who i'll let whoever buys him put a new battery in him i don't want to increase what I have to pay for him, but I will say, you know, he works. You can press down on him and see, he's just gonna need a new battery. So I got him as well. All right, you know, we're having a little fun. We're having a, having a cool little adventure here, you know, nothing 
nothing epic by any means, but still having fun. And we still got a few places to hit up. We're gonna go hit up this other thrift giant and then we might stop back in at Once Upon a Child on the way home. That's where I found that biker mice, that 12 inch biker mice from Mars, dude. So maybe they got some more vintage toys in there. It's been two or three weeks since I've been there now. So anyway, let's head on over to Old Thrifty Pants. Okay, let's do this. Fingers crossed, gang. Wow, like this whole section is just wiped out. There's like nothing here, nothing. Oh, I got a big old snake. Look at this thing. It's got wheels and everything. Send it across the floor, scare Caroline in the cool, or even better yet, the GG. All right. Busted again. So, uh, let's go hit up Once Upon a Child and probably another Goodwill. There's a Goodwill over there too where that Once Upon a Child is. So let's hit them both up. We are here, Once Upon a Child. Let's hope we can get some awesome scores in here today. Some sweet vintage scores. I'll even take some modern toys too if they're cool enough. So. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We're seeing a lot of the same stuff. What's going on back here? Something's trying to fall down. Uh, some, sort of, some sort of lunch box. Let's get that over there. Oh, it says hangry on it. All right, let's put this over here. There we go. All right, now, what's this? Oh, it's just a bag full of like wild animals and stuff. Well, check out this Miles Morales. That's kind of cool. It even has his missiles in there. Looks like the Scooby Doo and the Zombies DVD. And what's this? Oh, these are like wooden blocks with Marvel pictures on them. like a box full of baby stuff oh actually it says baby toys on it well at least they have them marked right but that doesn't mean somebody couldn't have put something in them hey it's our friend the minesweeper he's missing a wheel though it looks like we've got a bag full of dinos here I just pulled this off the top shelf up there. I don't know what it is. Oh, it looks like some sort of pirate ship or something. And then maybe like, I don't know, it could be something Hot Wheels related maybe. It's kind of neat, but I'm gonna pass. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Skateboard, some pants. Is there like a figure in here too? Well, it doesn't look like it, but what's this say? It says uh, graffiti, I think. Interesting. Oh, and here's some skateboards. I guess they're like finger skateboards, huh? Put your fingers in there and you can do tricks on these ramps and stuff like that, or boxes or whatever. Man, this little set is selling for like 40 bucks. They want $8.50 for it though, so I'll have to think about it. Oh, look at that, they got a Mario Kart set there. They want 80 bucks for that bad boy. Dang. 
Oh, look at this. Adventure Castle. Still silver. Oh, yeah. I've seen these knights before at uh, different uh, thrift stores. Oh, yeah. And I've seen this castle, too. Matter of fact, this castle was at a Goodwill I was at recently, but it was incomplete. But $45 for that? Holy cow. That's a lot of money. All right. Busted. I'm going to stop in at this. Uh, oh, look at this. It's an airport right over there. Um, I'm going to stop it at this place called Metro Crest Resale. That's where I found those yo yos for Keith. But again, it's been a few weeks since I've been here, so I'm going to pop in and see if they got anything new. Oh, check it out. They got a midnight ride with Paul Revere and the Raiders. Mr. Potato Head. Anything else? What's over here? Nothing. Let's see. What's this? This kind of neat. Got a vulture in there as well. I have this figure already. And we got a chicken ready to party. Got some crayons. Well, we got a peanuts Halloween McDonald's pumpkin bucket thing, candy bucket. All right, well, busted again. Let's go hit up Goodwill for our last stop of the day. I'll see you over there. All right, guys, here we are. Final destination. What you got for me today, Goodwill? What you got for me today? Hopefully, we can finish strong here. I mean, the only thing we, I mean, we got a thermos. <laughs> we got a thermos today and some VHS tapes and some dinosaurs. So we got a fun day, a decent day. We can definitely make some money off those dinosaurs, I'm sure. And uh, I'm gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of watching those VHS, that's for sure. Let's hope we can get a lot of vintage jazz out of Goodwill today. All right, let's see. Anything fun we can get our hands on? That looks like fun. Oh look, I think this witch was here last time. I know this was here last time. A couple of mini mice, mini mices. Oh, look at that baseball bat. Man, you could do some damage on somebody's knees with that thing. That's cool, I like the vibrant colors too. Oh, look at that dollhouse castle. That thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, that is super cool. All right, guys, busted. But hey, you know what? Today was still fun. I keep saying that because it was. It was fun. It was a stress reliever. Like thrifting, just getting out and thrifting in these different stores really relieves the stress in my life. It does. I don't know. Does it do that for you too, you guys that get out and thrift? Or maybe even some of you that watch these videos? Is it a stress reliever for you? Let me know in the comments below. But hey, if you're enjoying watching this content, as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos. You can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.